How can you live for yourself and not end up a narcissist? Well, because a narcissist is obsessed with himself, but is obsessed with how other people see him. And that's not living for yourself. As somebody who really lives for himself, if you've read The Fountainhead, The Fountainhead is excellent here, because in The Fountainhead you can see that Howard Rook is, is nowhere near a narcissist, but he's a completely living for himself. But he doesn't care what other people think of him. That's exactly what it means to live for yourself. He doesn't care how he looks to other people. He cares how he is with himself and with reality. He cares about his own values. He cares about his own life. He cares about his own love. Narcissists' values are secondhand. Narcissists, it's all about other people. And it's all about superficiality. Narcissists are not, are not traitors. It's about themselves, but it's, it's, it's a self-destructive form. It's, a, it's much more closer to a lone wolf type form, but they're not complete lone wolves because they need other people's approval. They need other people's confirmation. They need other people's pat on the back. I mean, if you want to see what a narcissist looks like, I think Donald Trump is a good example. I really do. I mean, I think he is a narcissist. I think what motivates him is the perception of other people of him. He gets his pseudo self-esteem from others. He is not a trader. He is an exploiter. He has no principles. It's all about him in the most superficial sense. To live for yourself means to live. To live for yourself means to live. Which means to be guided by reason. To be guided by reason in choosing your values. To be guided by reason in choosing values that promote your life and ultimately your happiness. That. is what a narcissist is. I mean, that's what a true, sorry, true self-interested person is and what a narcissist isn't, the exact opposite of that. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder. Please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. 
Easy. Do one or all of those, please. 